So let's take this example. Given that simple circuit, what is the drain saturation current and the drain voltage? Anytime you hear the drain saturation current, right there, I drain saturation, the solution to that is always going to be VDD over R sub D. That's this voltage divided by that resistor. Well, this voltage is what? 15 volts. The resistor is what? 10K. And the answer is 1.5 milliamp. Now, the next question, if the current in the circuit is 1.5 milliamp, can you tell me what the voltage right here is? What's VD? Or if it wasn't 1.5 milliamp again, what's the voltage? Regardless of this 1.5 or not, can you tell me what that voltage there? Well, we need to know what that current. But what happens if I didn't know what that current is? Is there a way to find the equivalent of this circuit? Because no, that VD is the voltage between D and S. If I can replace this with an equivalent circuit, or an equivalent, equivalent element, maybe I can solve that problem. Well, we can figure the resistor between R, D, and S. The resistor between R, D, and S, it's always going to be the pinch-off voltage divided by I, D, S, S. So in this example, the pinch-off voltage, well, it wasn't given to us. Maybe it was, I don't know. Well, if you go back to a couple of videos back, the pinch-off voltage, it's always the opposite of VGS saturation, or I mean off. Not saturation, off. So that means the pinch-off voltage has to be 3 volts. So if we put 3 volts for this, we put 5 milliamps here. That says you can replace this one now with a 600 ohm resistor. That's the equivalent resistance of this JFET. So if we take that circuit, which is 15 here, 10K here, and now replace the JFET with 600 ohm, and there's the ground, and that's your D here. Can you find VD? Well, that's voltage division. It's 15 times 600 over the sum of them, which is 600 plus 10K. And if we do the math, where's my calculator here? Clear everything on it. 15 times 600 divided by 10,600 equals 0.849 volts. Now, what will happen to that circuit, the same circuit, if we just change R sub D? We go from 10K to maybe 20K. Does that change anything? It should. So let's see what it does. So if we change, if R sub D is changed to now from 10K, to, we're going to make it 20K ohm. Then that circuit becomes 15 volts up there, 20K. zero. Remember here, RDS does not really depend on this voltage or that resistor. It depends on what? The pinch-off voltage and IDSS. And since I'm using the same JFET, these two never changed. 
So it's still 3 over 5 milliamp, which means that's still 600 ohm. So changing this source or changing this resistor will not change RDS. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so now again, do the same thing we did before. Here's my 15 volt source. Now put a 20K resistor here. And now let's bring an RDS here, which is 600 ohm. Can we find what VD is? VD is equal to 15 times 600 over the sum of them. And if we do the math here, let's see what that number is equal to. 0.437 volt. So again, the point I want you to get out of this example that RDS between this and this does not depend on what you attach there. It depends on these two, regardless if this value is 20K, 10K, if that's 15 volts, 50 volts, if this source is not a zero, if you have a resistor here or not, that doesn't change this value. Let's try another problem. This video I'm gonna call it, I don't know, fun with JFET. Fifteen volt here. And let's put a six K ohm, I don't know, that sounds like a good number. Let's put a 12K here. This is ground. Let's pick a value here. I don't know. It sounds like, what, what should we use? 1.5 meg? 1.5 meg. Ohm resistor there. And let's use your, I don't know, 1.2 meg. Doesn't really matter what we use. And you know what? Let's have fun. Let's put a capacitor here. And let's put a resistor here. Pick any number you want to. I just call it R. It doesn't really matter what value I use. And you know what? Since I said fun, let's have more fun. Put another capacitor here. Can you tell me what this voltage is? Well, the reason I'm throwing all these capacitors there, because if you look at my source here, it is a 15 volt DC source. Which means these capacitors will behave like open and I don't have to worry about them. I can eliminate that. Take it out of my circuit. So my, now my circuit will look like this, 15. 6K, and that's what do we have here, 12K, and I can replace this with an equivalent circuit. I can replace it with a value for V here and a resistor here I could do all that well if you want to find the value we'll call that V feminine we'll call that R feminine and V feminine here is going to be what the 15 times 1.5 meg over 1.5 meg plus 1.2 meg fifteen times one point five divided by what's that two point seven this will be eight point three volts and our feminine will be the one point five meg 
in parallel with 1.2 meg. And if they are in parallel, is the product over the sum. That'll give me 1.5 times 1.2 divided by what? 2.7.66 meg or 67. And let me change the question on you. If I said to you, what is the ideal the ideal drain voltage? So this voltage here is 8.3. If we're talking about ideal cases, well, you want this voltage here to be 8.3 volts. There's no difference. So if that's 8.3 volts, that means I know what I sub D is, the current coming down. I sub D is equal to what? 8.3 minus 0 divided by 12k. 8.3 divided by 12, that's 0.69 milliamp. And what is the ideal drain voltage? What's VD? It's going to be 15 minus 6k times 0.69 milli. And I got 10.85. Hopefully that number is correct there. Ten point six five. And if we did ask you for what is VDS, the voltage between D and S, you can say that's ten point. I didn't ask for it, but if I did. 10.65 minus the voltage here, which is 8.3. And that will give me, what, 2.55. And that's everything about that problem. Let's do one more. Then we'll call it quit. So the next one here, the next example, I'm going to give you 20 volts here. Uh, let's, let's really have fun with this. 8K. I know you're thinking I'm um, something wrong with me there. I'm having fun with this stuff. Let's put mixed transistors here. We have JFET. We have an NPN transistor. Bring them back. You thought you were done with them. Ha ha. Negative 10 volts. Let's put 9.3 kilo ohms. Uh, let's put... Attach this to ground. Two meg. Attach it to ground. Let's put a capacitor here. Uh, 
Is that enough fun? That's plenty, I guess. Can you tell me what the voltage right there is? Find. I'll ask for I sub D and VD. Again, I keep throwing capacitors here. Why? Because my source is DC source. DC source, again, tells us the capacitors become open. So they're not like even in the circuit. Take them out. You can take your eraser, your white out, whatever you're using, and delete that capacitor out. So if you take it out, that's what your circuit looks like. Well, if we assume this is silicon transistor, if this voltage is zero, that means this voltage here is what? Negative 0.7. For this transistor to be on, if you remember, that end has to be 0.7 higher than this end. That means I know the current coming down, we call that I sub E through the emitter. It's gonna be this voltage minus that voltage. divided by the 9.3 K. Well, I intentionally made these numbers nice because I want the number to be just perfect. That's one milliamp. And a quick assumption, we make the assumption the current going in, the base current here, just like the gate current, we make the assumption there's zero. Well, if that's zero, we know the collector current should equal approximately the emitter current. And that collector current will have to be one milliamp. That's the collector. Well, guess what? Where is that current coming from? That's current, the current coming from the top. So I know now my ID, the drain current for the JFET has to be one milliamp. If that's the case, can I find what VD is? Is the 20 volts on the top, that's this one, minus the drop right here, which is 8K times 1 milli. That's 20 minus 8, which is 12 volts. And that's the end of that question. So just a few examples, I call them fun with transistors, but just a few solved examples here. Hopefully they'll help you with your homework, and we'll see you in the next video.